Also tonight, this is a live look of the Longhorn Steakhouse near the Walden Galleria in Cheektowaga. We have now learned that restaurant set to reopen tonight at 6 o'clock. As we first reported last night at 11, the steakhouse closed unexpectedly on Wednesday after several employees and customers experienced flu-like symptoms. A viewer tipped us off to this developing situation, and we've been pursuing this story throughout the day. We want to get you up to date. An inspection by the county health department just this week found no critical food violations and found that all food prep workers were washing their hands and wearing gloves. But it did reveal five workers went home sick on Saturday Saturday and employees have called in sick since then. Again, this is a story we broke first on 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Jill Perkins is working on this story tonight, and she's uncovered what may be the source. Yeah, good evening, Ashley and Jeff. So far, I have seen several people walk up to the door behind me and have to turn around. They're being told, as you mentioned, that the restaurant will not reopen until 6 o'clock. Meantime, in the last 24 hours, the officials here at Longhorn have spent their time disinfecting and sanitizing to make sure things are ready for customers when they open again for business in just about an hour. Norovirus is what health officials believe caused several Western New Yorkers to get sick. Those people all have one thing in common. They visited this Longhorn Steakhouse restaurant on Walden Avenue in Cheektowaga last weekend. And it's very, very contagious. Erie County Commissioner of Health Dr. Gail Burstein says officials are still looking to track down the source of the contamination. Exposure at the restaurant, it could have been potential exposure outside the restaurant, it could have been that somebody at someone's table had. Norovirus and infected somebody, everybody else. Um, you know, again, with sharing food or sharing utensils or even just on the same, uh, you know, tabletop. Symptoms of norovirus include diarrhea, vomiting, body aches, and nausea. I spoke with Rich Jeffers, the spokesperson for Darden, which runs the Longhorn chain. He says the restaurant managers became aware of the situation late Tuesday night. He went on to issue this statement, reading, quote, The health and safety of our guests and team members is our top priority, which is why we took the additional step of voluntarily closing our restaurant in order to conduct a thorough sanitization yesterday and once again today. The Erie County Health Department was also called in earlier this week to inspect the restaurant. We didn't find any practices or procedures among the food handlers or the wait staff or anybody in the kitchen that would cause us to feel that the illness was a result of unsafe you know, uh, food handling practices. And again, it is still unclear just how many people may have been infected with what officials do believe is norovirus. Several people reached out to 7 Eyewitness News. I'll share some of their stories of just how ill they became coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Cheektowaga, Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jill. And Jill also sat down today with a barber from South Buffalo who says he got so sick after eating at this location on Saturday night, he had to close his business down for two days. He was there with 15 friends. You're going to hear his story straight ahead at 6. We also want to let you know we looked into past inspection reports for this Longhorn location. Here they are. From June 2014 and from August and September of last year, inspectors from the county found no critical health violations during any of these visits. Jeff?